Today we'll give the Tekkens a big outdoor area in the winter landscape and a cozy but practical indoor stable area. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a zoo that I have not used in a long time. More about that later. So this doesn't really appear as a clean slate to start off a habitat in, but this existing rockwork inspired me to build a Tekken enclosure around it. We are starting out with adjusting the landscape here a bit first, so we can better fit in a fence around this place. I did not go with a custom fence for this, since it would take too much time around this large habitat, and since you don't see the fence up close anyway. So I think this does the job. I do add some custom poles to it later and adjust it a bit some places to make it appear more interesting, but that's about it for the fence. A lot of the work on this outside area I have not included in the video, so much of the landscaping here is already there, so I don't think it would be that interesting to see all the adjustments I do, but I have kept some of it in as you see. Also. The technique I'm using here is something I already covered in a kind of tutorial video you can check out. How I often do rock work for bigger landscapes like this. And I got the seconds in here so I could see how I could make them able to get around most of this habitat the best way. So here you can see I'm doing a kind of gate. I ended up placing two of these around the habitat so you can get into it with a vehicle from the bottom of the enclosure and also from the top part. Might end up using this gate some more. It's simple in the design so it should be quite usable different places. So this zoo we are working on here is Valpson Zoo. I think I started this zoo more or less two years ago. I only really worked on it for a couple of months maybe on and off. It's placed in Norway and the idea is to always build in the snow. So I always keep the snow on and I did a few tutorial videos for how you make, how you keep up this winter atmosphere in your zoos. So I think that video is quite all right. You can hear I have gotten better at making videos since then. You can still uh, check it out to get an idea of how I work within the zoo. I also had to look a bit into it myself since I haven't worked on this almost two years. But now I ended up going back here because of the Eurasia animal pack since a lot of the species fit very well into this park. I did end up doing kind of a road in the middle in the middle of the, this habitat by adjusting it a bit and adjusting the rock work a bit and flattening t the terrain a bit in the, in the middle. It also appears like a kiva could go in with something like an ATV or something like that. Better get around this rather big area. And this Takin enclosure is built just above the Asian section, so you kind of look up on it from down there. So we got a small Asian section with a species from colder areas in Asia. Japanese macaques, a moor leopard, red crown crane, red pandas, and now the Takins. At the moment there is not a whole lot of good places for guests to look into this enclosure from. It's more of a background feature, and then I ended up using some old I think I have called them Aurora Huts. It's like a sleepover experience for guests that you will have to pay extra for, of course. And from there you can see into the tech-ins and then I have been off camera working on a like bit of a route from the lower part of the zoo and up here. And from there you can also look a bit in and then there'll be an area up in the top at some point where you would be able to look in but at the moment I need something to connect it a bit better with the rest of the Asian area and I don't really have that at the moment but if I end up working more on this zoo which, which I don't really know if I'll end up doing but if I do then I'll probably be working on getting some more guest areas in for this habitat so you can get a better view of the tech-ins but luckily they are quite big animals. It's a great view to have them up here on the steep edge of this cliff mountain thing. So you can see I'm working a bit here on the area around the huts. They are up as a blueprint on the steam workshop and they are also around two years old now and I never really got to use them. They were always planned for this zoo but I just never got around to building the area where they would fit in. I think this blueprint for these huts could use a bit of an update and maybe I'll look into that. I would like to use some of the new souvenir shop items in them. I think that would work well. And overall, had I built them today, I would just do it differently. I've gotten so much better at this game. So I'm also trying to integrate some pieces from around the zoo 
into this. But it's tricky when this zoo is two years old, my building style is just different now. Tried to get a bit of the feeling of the rest of the zoo into this and then in the end I didn't care too much. Rather have it, this habitat be as good as possible. And here you can see I'm working on the walls for the stable. I ended up doing a quite detailed stable for this animal. I do have some real life work experience with Takins, as I at least in periods work as a zookeeper. So I'm taking some inspiration from that, but also implementing a lot of creative freedom into it, but still trying to keep it as realistic as possible. But there are definitely some ideas here that are taken from real life and then just adjusted it to this habitat because this looks very different this whole area than what I'm used to work with here. So I added some big gates to each side so the idea is that there's a bigger room where you could keep the females in and then there's a smaller section where you could separate a male into if needed. Most of the time they'll be fine together so they will probably just stay open but in case you need to get all the animals in it's a good idea to do it like that. Then I'm also using one of my another of my blueprints which are these round hay bales I think they're called. I found out that the touch pieces are really good for making hay after they have become flexicolor. Some of the video from building this indoor area got lost somehow so you're missing out on some of the detailing in there. It's really one of my most detailed indoor stable areas. I've never really done a lot of them for, for like bigger herbivores and such. I had quite a lot of fun with it in the end and I think I should do more of these. I think I'll save some blueprints from this also so I got more to quicker make in the future. And while building this I ended up getting this idea for hay nets. And I decided to cut this out of this video because I already made another small video for these hay nets. So I didn't want it to take up time here. So you can go and check out that video if you're interested in these hay nets and you can also find a blueprint for them. I really like how they turned out. For some reason that video didn't really get any views, but check it out if you want to and go and find the blueprint if you can find use of these. I really like them myself. I haven't seen people do hay nets like these before and you can use them for a lot of herbivore species. Makes good sense to have. I think we should get some official at some point that would just be an obvious inclusion. Should probably have been in something like the conservation pack, but it wasn't sadly. I hope we'll get some better hay materials in the future. It's super important in a zoo, but we don't really have a lot of it to deal with. And as you might notice, you can see some of the details which didn't end up in this video since I lost the footage. But I'll uh, jump into this indoor section in the end of the video and then we can take a look at it all and then I can maybe explain a bit more about it. So here I'm putting up some vegetables in front of the keeper hut. And the whole outdoor area I have also been working a bit on off camera. Mostly like the whole landscaping around the habitat. want this video to focus more on the habitat itself. So just to get some more nice looking footage at the end I worked a bit on all that off camera. But I'm adding also all sorts of details in here, both stuff for cleaning and keeping and also like some items where you can think that's where the food is and so on. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I'm not very consistent with getting videos out these days. I just don't have as much time as I did a few months ago. I'll do my best to get something out every week, but sometimes uh, there might be two or three weeks between my videos at the moment. But I really hope I can keep this going as well as possible. I think I mentioned before that I will do a follow up to my recent bison video, which has become my most viewed video on the channel. Because there is a mistake in that video and I need to address that mistake. And while doing that I ended up looking even more into various sizes in the game. Already had the video planned out, I just need to record it. And I think that will be the next thing I'll do after getting this out as well. If you're watching this, this is out. So that's what you can expect. And then probably there'll also be 
a Malayan Tapir speed build sometime soon over in Kenobi Gardens. I lost Kenobi Gardens while the souvenir shop bug was going on because I worked a bit on a souvenir shop there too. But now it's back with update 1.16.1, I guess it's called. So I can continue on that as well. Then I think there might be another exhibit build within the next month. So that's some of the stuff you can look forward to here on the channel. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of that. So we'll see what happens. But now we are done here with this build. And now we'll take a look of how it all turned out. So now we'll start off this tour of the build today where we ended the speed build. So here we are inside of the stable. You can maybe notice that I put up a few decal pieces. Could maybe even use a bit more in here I think. Just to add a bit of detailing. I also added some buttons over here uh, to be able to put down this or to open or close this gate hatchway thing over here. Not sure that's the most logical feature for a stable like this, but considering I couldn't really find a good place for a type of hat I felt like would make sense. I think something you could pull in the side and then have the door sliding sideways instead had made more sense, but that wasn't really good room for it in here. And then we got the hay, we got the whatever is inside these bags, some kind of pellets probably, wheelbarrows, some tools, some vegetables and the kitchen and then these two paddocks. So you can see there's an animal in here right now, it's probably not the male and that is a calf. You can see if we can go out here, I'm not sure that would, yeah, that worked. So out here we got a small little shelter area. I don't think I showed much of this in the speed build. It's quite simple. Then they have a bit of shelter outside and uh, this is also where they get some water. One of the implied hatches is over here. But the actual keeper entrance is hidden in this. What do you call these? Port or whatever. And then I don't know if we should do this on foot. I don't think that is a good idea. Then we got the whole outdoor area up here. So we got the huts over here. As mentioned, you can find these as blueprints. But I think I might update them one day. So we can see how well it works to look up here now. So we enter Asia. It's maybe a bit outdated uh, considering what I can build now. If I feel like it one day we'll update it. Red crown cranes together with red pandas down here. Got the leopards in here, Japanese macaques over here. And then we just got Takens in all of this. I'm a bit curious if we can spot any from down here. No, it doesn't look like it. So, uh, oh yeah, and we got the hut up here now, that looks really good actually. So, wasn't really planning on taking a tour of this, I got an old video for that, but... What is that? Ah yes, that's a camera I put up for before and after pictures, <laughs> I forgot about that. The landscape looks really nice like this. Feels very realistic when you do like this. No animals to be seen. If we stand here, do like this and then really zoom in. Then you can see attacking from down here. Now it's... No, there's another one. It's possible. You can spot them from, from the Asian section. There's another one. Okay, it works quite well, actually. Thank you for stopping by today. Hope to see you again soon. And I hope I got another video ready within a week or so, but I cannot promise anything. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.